It's about time. Life was F and easy. Now there's fresh and easy, and we're doing fine. We're working hard to make life easy for you. We're preparing food and staying open too. So come on in and visit, 'cause we're here to stay. Come and get your food the F and easy way. Other news tonight: A grocery chain that has struggled financially in the past is once again closing stores. Fresh and Easy is closing 50 stores nationwide. More than two dozen of those right here in California. In the last couple years, we had a supermarket uh, called Fresh and Easy come and open up, but um, due to the prices being very high and them. In the store, not really understanding the community,、um, they were short-lived. They only survived, I think, about a year and a half. I would go to Fresh and Easy for a sale. For this neighborhood, it was not good. It was very expensive. We see those type of stores. They come into the neighborhood for a short period of time, and then they eventually leave. And so, we need a, a grocery store, another store like Safeway or Foods Co. to come in、um, uh, and come into this neighborhood、um, and open up, so that we have. You know more food. So food deserts where people can't buy healthy foods that they can afford, especially、um, in their neighborhood. The majority of Bayview、um, is is a food desert. It's really difficult to find healthy, affordable, fresh food. Around the midpoint of World War II. The Bayview Hunters Point area in San Francisco was starting to become one of the most progressive areas of its time, with about a fifth of its population being African American and the rest a mix of white and Chinese citizens. A lot of、uh, African Americans came from the South, the Great Migration, where they came here for jobs,、um, and so they came here、um, and they were working. You know, really middle class people. They were、uh, over in the shipyard, and then once the shipyard closed after the war. Um, there weren't many jobs, and so the white population and the Asian population vanished. And so,、um, with that, with those two groups leaving, a lot of like the resources left, and all the political、uh, influence and clout that this community had left. Today, Bayview is still affected by this transition. After getting caught up in the cocaine trade in the 1980s, gang violence became common, and crime rates spiked. I'm 27 years old, so I've lived here all my life. I'm down here on Third Street, we call it the Flatlands, and the Flatlands are usually where all the grocery stores are located. And then there's another area of Bayview Hunters Point called the Hunters Point area, and that's usually the hills. For decades,、um, those two areas、um, had rival street gangs that couldn't come near each other. So when you think about food and you think about safety, if you're living up there on the hill. It's very hard to come down on Third Street to access food when you need it. We want people to be able to easily walking distance or otherwise be able to obtain、um, the things that they need to live in their own neighborhood, right? And food is a, a key part of being able to live somewhere. In October 2016, Duck Loy, a family-owned supermarket, received a $250,000 grant from the government to open their pantry in the Bayview neighborhood on Third Street. That money is went towards the equipment and property of this store. We are definitely filling a gap in terms of we, the food crisis in this area. So far, my customers have been coming and they've been very willing to purchase these products. They have not had a complaint. They really, they lack sufficient, you know, vegetables, fruits, and so it's not a complaint. When you think about the number of people here. That one grocery store isn't. I'm going to be able to feed, you know, the masses of the people that are expected to come here, and so we need another grocery store that's going to be here, that's going to be viable, that's going to be good for the community. We have to find a balance between quality and price, and it's also very hard to maintain fresh produce, fresh meat, fresh fresh flowers, because these things do have a very short shelf life. So we have to keep our prices low in order to rotate our product. We don't want throwaway merchandise, so it definitely is a challenge. If you、um, encourage smaller retailers who would traditionally focus on chips, packaged foods,、um, cigarettes, alcohol, things like that, and try and get them to carry milk and、um, fresh, fresh produce,、um, that that can help increase food security and food access. Other solutions to this food crisis are community gardens. 
Community gardens are very popular in Bayview. Gardens such as Casada Gardens and the Florence Fong Asian Community Garden have made a huge impact on the Bayview community. Urban farming, um, urban agriculture, people call it a lot of different things. Most, most people are looking to these types of projects in terms of um, how many people can they feed, um, uh, how much can they affect food insecurity in an area. These projects tend to be not that large though, so um, the big benefit, the biggest benefit that we're really getting in San Francisco is um, community support, community involvement, social cohesion, um, which, is, which is huge. The community members are meeting together, working together, um, they have friends now, they have positive social um, activities to do with each other. Um, instead of smoking and gambling all day, they're spending their time fussily watering, hand watering um, their um, specialty Chinese vegetables multiple times a day. And in those cases, through the people who are participating in these gardens, they do have an, a, 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 an opportunity to significantly impact their family and their own um, food security. I want to be healthy, moving, not in a wheelchair, not on dialysis. So it's important for me to be, be eat healthy and move, exercise, and meet people.